What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you've already read the title of the video, um, we're on our way to Pittsburgh to pick up a car. Um, and I guess by now you probably know what it is. It's a 2002 Lexus IS300. Um, it's kind of clean, all stock. Um, and I'm kind of excited because I've owned a few of these cars in the past and they're really fun to mod, they're really fun to just work on, they're super easy to work on and they're just all around fun cars to drive. Um, this car is a factory manual 5 speed car which is super hard to find and I, I found two of them, this one being one and then another one that was totally stock in North Jersey. The North Jersey one was too expensive. This one's a little cheaper, but it needs some body work and some paint uh, and stuff like that. So I'm from Philadelphia. We're driving to Pittsburgh, which is about a four and a half hour drive and excited to see what the car needs, you know, and excited to maybe start ordering stuff for it and working on it, you know, over the next few months here and getting it all cleaned up. I already have some plans for it, but pretty excited. Got my buddy Troy here with me. Yep. And uh, we're just along for the ride. I think we're about three hours away. So uh, probably the next time you see me, I'll be looking at the car and hopefully it's everything this guy said it was. So stay tuned. So it's all done. We picked up the car, got it loaded in the trailer. Uh, titles transferred, everything's good. And you can see a little bit of glimpse of it, but I'll get out of the trailer to give you guys a better uh, view of the car. Um, and then when I get home, I'll do a full walkthrough of it. But uh, that's it. Now time for another four and a half hour trip back home. See that? What's up, guys? Good morning. It's the next day. Um, took the truck and trailer back, uh, left the car here, and uh, it, you know it drives fine. And I'm going to show you some of the issues that I'm going to have to fix before going into anything else with the car. Um, but uh, it drives really well. Um, I think one of the passenger or <coughs> uh, the passenger front or rear wheel is bent because it has a uh, little bit of a vibration but other than that it drives good um i wish the owner would have left this alone but i guess there was a dent here or something and he wanted to fix it so he filled it with something i think and then just started sanding away and it just looks horrible looks like you got a little too happy with the sanding and spray painting um this looks like he spray painted as well you can kind of see the oxidation in it I don't like, but whatever, the car will end up getting wrapped anyways. <clears throat> uh, there's a couple of dents on the fuel door, so I might end up replacing that. I don't know if you can see that. Um, a few other dents, so definitely gonna have to have the PDR guy fix it before wrapping it. Uh, I just have to kind of go over the whole car. Um, like I said, he got a little happy with spray paint, I think, because this is like spray painted, it's all rough. And then pretty much half of the passenger driver's side fender is spray painted as well. Um, wheels are pretty chewed up, but tires are good. Um, there's a crack here, um, scuff here, cracks all in the bumper. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to get a new bumper, which is no big deal, you can find it for like $100 on eBay. Um, inside the car it's typical you know 17 18 year old car this whole seat is ripped up which no big deal I'll just get new seat covers and have one of the my upholstery guys fix it up um, like I said it was a factory manual transmission which is 
exactly what I wanted. Um, it's got the regular sticky dash, which I'll probably just take the whole dash out and end up like wrapping this maybe in like a suede or maybe I'll just sand it down as much as I can and end up like just painting it. Like I said, the car runs really well. Um, the ABS light is on and the traction control light is flashing along with the brake light stays on. Um, I think when they did brakes, they probably broke one of the uh, ABS sensors in the front. So, I mean, it's no big deal. They're like $30, you know, to get a new uh, ABS sensor. So that's a super easy. Just throw another one of those in. Um, there's no check engine light, which is kind of rare for these cars. Um, the back seat, pretty decent condition. The passenger seat's in, in really good condition. So whoever owned this car and, you know, got the driver's seat all ripped up, I guess, you know, that was, he was probably just driving it on his own like every day and didn't really have many passengers because that's in pretty good shape. Um, the radio works perfectly. All the gears shift perfectly. Um, so, I mean, clutch works great. They did put new front and rear brakes on it, uh, pads and rotors. And I mean, the sunroof works perfectly. Door panels aren't in bad condition. Um, I mean, yeah, the, the car runs good. It's an O2, so it has the factory darker tail lights, which I love in the 2002. Um, you know, I'm really tired of looking at this, but I mean, all around, it's a pretty sound car. Um, it's never been in an accident, which is awesome. It's got a clean title. Um, it's only, I think I'm the third owner, which isn't terrible for such an older car. Um, oh, this window is like, it just goes down on its own, which I think that's just going to end up being a, uh, a uh, regulator or whatever. So that's easy enough because these door panels are pretty easy to pop off. Um, other than that, pretty happy with the car and excited to get working on it. I'm going to go to work tomorrow and just get it up on the lift and figure out, you know, what it needs mechanically. I think it does need a valve cover gasket so I, because I saw a, uh, a little bit of oil leaking from that, which, you know, it's not too bad to do one of those. Um, so I want to make sure the car is completely sound before we, you know, start going through and, you know, replacing stuff and then getting into wrapping and, you know, lowering the car and, and doing all the, the regular stuff. But, um, I definitely want to get, you know, everything, uh, looking good, feeling good, you know, before I go into any modifications. So hopefully it's soon. Um, but we'll see. All right, so last part of the video is gonna be just me driving the car. And I wanna show you how good it drives. Um, so let's go on a little drive. Pull out of the driveway here. All around, transmission shifts really smooth. Um, the heat and AC work perfectly. I really miss driving these cars. It's just an all around, like, just really fun, smooth car to drive. Clutch feels great. I mean, everything else feels really good. get out on the road over here and kind of get on it a little bit. I mean, I know it's only like 200 horsepower. It's really not that fast, but uh, maybe one day it will be. Turn signals work. Both headlights work, both fog lights work, which is pretty crazy. Usually the ballasts go out.
not bad. I mean, it has a decent amount of power for just being totally stock. I mean, these things have like three catalytic converters, I think. So, I mean, just they're so restricted. Uh, my last IS 300s, I did full exhaust on. Um, OBX header, usually like a Megan Racing or HKS mid pipe, and then catback exhaust, which I probably plan to do on this one. I don't want to make this thing as loud as my other ones, but I mean, they do sound really good when they have full exhaust, and they're a lot more fun to drive because they're not super quiet like this one is. Um, I mean, you could just feel like this thing is, you know, completely stock just because the suspension's super soft. It's so quiet, like the only things that you hear are the transmission and the road noise. So uh, hopefully we can change that sometime soon. But uh, I appreciate everybody joining in and watching this little journey over the past two days. Uh, hopefully there's gonna be some more videos to come very soon. Um, hopefully I'm able to maybe order some stuff, get the car wrapped and you know fix a couple of the odds and ends and i'll try to make videos on that as well and keep you guys updated as much as i can um uh, but it's gonna be a fun project really excited about it and uh you know we'll see how it goes so like and subscribe and uh hopefully see you guys soon thanks